Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is the day. It's a beautiful day in Pennsylvania, believe it or not. It's about 75 degrees, no humidity, no rain, and we're putting the AWE exhaust on the ZR1. All right, guys, so as you know from the previous video, we went up to AWE, Scott and I from Team 512. Had some comparison shots, had a, a good bit of fun, to be honest with you, but now it's time to get the exhaust on my car so I can have as much fun as that guy right there. Let's take a look at the lovely pieces that AWE gives you. So obviously we have the two mufflers, two over the axle pipes, and the beautiful diamond black tips, which are over there somewhere. But that's basically the biggest reason I'm doing this. But Scott assures me this is going to sound fantastic on the ZR1. It's going to be amazing. There you have it. I mean, this guy knows. The first step here is to basically tape this stuff up because when we go to remove this rear diffuser, it's going to kind of rest on this part of the paint. So if your car is black, especially, it's going to show any kind of markings over on that area if you don't do something like this. Now, luckily for me, my car is expelled. So if we didn't, if we actually forgot to do this, it probably wouldn't have been a huge deal. But, you know, safety first here, Team 512. It's not sticking to all the... Uh... Yeah, it's all the ceramic coating yeah. makes it tough for the painter's tape to stick. But it's not meant to look beautiful, it's meant to protect. This is the last time you're going to see the dirty exhaust tips, guys. At least the dirty chrome ones. <laughs> the black ones still do get dirty, just they don't look this bad when they get dirty. Okay, so after the painter's tape is on, we're going to come underneath here and there is a couple seven millimeter screws we need to pop out. And rocks. So next we're going to go ahead and remove that license plate. Obviously behind there is a screw or two that we need to get to to get this rear diffuser off. Now, guys, I wanna make this pretty obvious to you. I This isn't really gonna be a how-to video so much as just us swapping this out. I'm just gonna point out little things as we go along. It's not really gonna break down anything into great detail. If you have any questions about the install, you can ask Team 512 or myself. We will definitely make sure you get the answers. But at the end of the day, I'm super pumped to finally get some black exhaust tips and a little bit better sound out of the ZR1. Two 10 millimeter bolts behind the license plate. And then there is two 13 millimeter bolts in between the stock exhaust mufflers here that you'll have to take off. So the next step, guys, like you just said, is the reflectors right here need to be popped out and you gotta really get up in there because the clips are pretty far up behind this diffuser as you can see. Ideally, you're gonna wanna pop the diffuser out from the side vents here and then stick your hand up there so you have as much flexibility as possible. This part is literally the worst part of the whole job, popping these out. And the car is like just too high. Yeah, but you can't get comfortable doing it. So guys, this is exactly why you put the tape there because as this vent starts popping out, these clips right there will literally start hitting the paint. So behind each deflector is two 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna pop those off and then this entire diffuser piece is gonna come off. There it is. It's gonna sound like you're doing something wrong. That means you're doing something right. So there's really only what, one clip up there? There are also two 10 millimeters up under the exhaust tips. Make life easier on yourself, guys. Follow these instructions. We want to reshoot that? No. no. <laughs> these mistakes happen. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the NPP stuff, the baffles. Sure. We're going to go ahead and release the band clamps. I don't know if you guys like loud noises or not, but 15 millimeter. So you'll just jump between these two band clamps and then that will free the axle back. So these are the baffle connections I was talking about, guys. We want to take these off and later in the instructions here, we will tape these up out of the way so we can still reuse them if the time ever came. So we're going to start working at getting this off. First is what, 13 millimeter? Uh, 14. 14 millimeter bolt. Oh, no, you're right, 13. Oh, I was right, it's a 13. So this is an <laughs> exhaust hanger. Two 13s there. And then there's gonna be two 13s on the other side. This will get reused. Okay, so 
muffler hangers do get reused. So don't destroy them getting them off there. Now we can go ahead and remove the driver's side. Just have to separate them right there. So this part, you gotta just work at it. You gotta shimmy it enough that the axle pipe disconnects from the X pipe. This is not gonna be a quick process. You, want, you gotta work at it separating those pipes because they've been clamped together. Oh man, the ZR1, the ZR1, it doesn't have a butt. There's no butt. He's gently persuading the X-pipe to come free from the over the axle pipe. Yeah, I see movement up there. And this is exactly why you need to take the rear fascia off to do the exhaust on Yep. So just work them up and down? Yeah. Yep. And, and back you can. This? Side to side. All around. Back, back all around. It's coming. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it out? Not yet. It's, it's out. Is it a boy? Uh, it's kind of stuck. This is the fun part. You keep saying that. Is there a part that's not fun? There we go. There you go. So work it going down? There you go. Okay. There it is. I just... There's one. Oh, good thing that diffuser wasn't on. It's gonna drop. She out? Almost. All right, that's two. Man, we're making this look easy. We're not even, this was not rehearsed, guys, I promise. All right, guys, so he is now matching up what pipe is what from the AWE to the stock over the axle pipe. So that right there is gonna be the driver's side, and yeah, that's the yep. passenger side. So that's how you match them up. Uh, Scott said he thinks the directions actually tell you how to tell which one, but the easiest way is just to match it up to the stock one if you have it. So he's just zip tying the NPP wires out of the way now. I taped them up. Like I say, that's kind of a redundancy thing because there's really not a reason to do that unless you're worried about the connection possibly getting corroded and damaged because those aren't used for the new one. The AWE kit comes with some heat shielding that you are gonna put onto the transmission cooler side, which is the driver's side. Get wrapped with this to prevent any kind of overheating issues. Obviously we want the transmissions to stay as cool as possible in these cars, especially if you have an automatic, you want to wrap that thing up good. Now it's time to lay some pipe. <laughs> so obviously guys, we are putting on the driver's side pipe. Uh, we really only started with the driver's side because he was already sitting on the driver's side. So it doesn't really matter which one you do here first. You just want to line these up. Obviously this is going to determine where that pipe ends up sitting. So or where the muffler sits in the back. And obviously we want these tips to be as straight as possible. The black tips are why I'm doing this, but it's not gonna matter much if they're crooked, so. Are you there, my friend? <laughs> why can't it go the other way? <laughs> oh. Dude, yeah, that might, that might work, huh? That's, yeah, that's gonna work. All right, so we just found a little bit of a trick of the trade here. When you're putting in the driver's side especially, you wanna start under the car and then lead it back. Don't start from back here and go forward. You wanna start up underneath and push it back. Otherwise, you're gonna have trouble connecting the over the axle pipe to the X pipe. Yeah. All right, so both the driver's side and the passenger pipe should start underneath and come through the back, not the other way around. Wait, let me see if I push this up. Yeah, that goes down a little bit. Brute force never solves anything, right? There you go. If we look up under here, we have the passenger side pipe all the way in. The driver side pipe is giving us a little bit of a difficult time. It's only maybe half an inch out, but we want this to be as tight as possible to avoid leaks. So we're gonna do our best to get this pushed in so we can tighten this down too. All right, try to work it. Don't try not to pop it out of here though, it's, it's real close. 
There you go. Try pushing it in now. It's got to be looped. So it breaks that same spot. That's it. There it is. <laughs> We're geniuses. <laughs> there we go. Right now. All right. All right. So that's what. Let's get a muffalado on here. I get a muffler and a clamp. This one time at band clamp. <laughs> you want me to hold that while you're doing it? Yeah. So he is tightening the band clamps right now from the back of the muffler to the actual over the axle pipe. A little tight in there, but he's just tightening the screw or a nut. It's no big deal. The, the, the hardest part really is this diffuser and then probably the over the axle pipes. The rest of this should be pretty easy. Should. There it is guys. Both mufflers pretty much on. We're gonna level them all out and uh, hammer down the bolts in there to make sure that they're all held in tight. But this is pretty much, it's getting very close to being done. Alrighty guys, the last part is gonna be the AWE muffler connection thing. So <laughs> this is the beautiful part here that you're gonna actually see from the back of the car. And the best part, all stainless hardware to bolt those things together. So let's get to it. There we go. You are official now. That's a good feeling. It's looking pretty good. Hopefully it sounds as good. I think it will. It's definitely gonna look good because the whole blacked out ZR1 thing with black tips, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a little boy's dream come true. So we have the actual black diamond tips on here just mocked up just to see how they're gonna look. And yeah, they look pretty freaking awesome. The black here matches the black here, matches the black everywhere. So this looks pretty cool. Now there's a lot of adjustability here because each one of these tips is individual. Then you have the adjustability of the center brace here that says AWE in the background. Then you have the muffler band clamp and then the over the axle pipe band clamp. So there's a lot of adjustability here. If you wanna get these perfectly centered, perfectly level, you absolutely can. So here it is. These tips are about as lined up as we can get without putting that diffuser on and really making micro adjustments. They're looking pretty good. Uh, the, the black, the diamond black finish really, I, I can't say it enough. It, it definitely works with the color combination of the car. All right, so the balance is getting ready to get put back on. If you guys are gonna do this job yourself, one quick tip is to make sure that the tabs here on the uh, rear fascia slip inside of the I guess you could call it a receiver here on the rear bumper. There's basically a lip right here. You want to make sure those go into first. The other thing is you want to make sure that you clear the uh, rear view camera there. All right, guys, so we just finished. There was a good bit of stuff we ran into, but nothing a couple cars guys can't figure out. So. We got the diffuser back on, check out the exhaust tips. Definitely look great on the black CR1. We're gonna take it for a ride and you're gonna get to hear it here very soon. So first we gotta get the car down. Check out the black tips, how well those go with the black car. So you can kind of see inside a silver ring that will naturally go away once we get some carbon on it. But at the end of the day, these are totally black exhaust tips that are definitely gonna match the Batmobile. So we're gonna jump in, take it for a ride. But before we do, cold start. <laughs> 